what is up? As you can see, we have record of Augurest War here. And I have to admit, the very first thing I thought about this game when I got it was, God damn it, if they have another goddamn Ellis lookalike, I'm going to kill something. And what's the first thing I'm greeted with when I get this game? This bitch on the lower left, that's another fucking Ellis lookalike. Like, it, it's Ellis again. I mean, are they gonna call her, like, Alice or something? It's, ah! Ah! I'm pretty sure they're basically, you know, the same character. Again, if she has a Borg 9-ish Guardian, somebody's gonna die. I actually can't even remember any of the characters' names from Record of Augurus War Zero. I'm not gonna lie. I can't remember any of them. <laughs> so, uh, first, though, what the fuck is going on on the, like, I, I, I have not played this game yet, but I did run it really quickly, so just in case it had to, like, install itself or, you know, like, install trophies or whatever, just go through that. So I did that real quick so that we wouldn't have to deal with that when I booted it up. And so then I quit the game and I got distracted and I left it on this screen. Then I look back and I am greeted with this fucking little mini video here, which is what is going on. <laughs> like, this game is scaring me for the simple fact this one seems far, it already seems more fan servicey. Like, I don't know how many of you guys got the collector's edition. I got the collector's edition. I took one look through the art book and buried that shit deep in my room. Because I would go to jail for owning that if anybody knew I owned it. I, I honestly think I would go to jail for that. <laughs> I am so baffled. How this game got a teen rating. I flipped through the uh, the manual real quick because somebody told me, um, you know, that the battle system changed. I wasn't aware of that. I didn't really look up any information. Apparently, it seems, if I understand it right, it looks a little more like turn-based-ish RPG right now rather than, you know, like the strategy shit, which if it is, that'll be a little disappointing to be perfectly honest. Oh, it has to do this every time. I guess it is just loading up, but that takes no time at all. Anyway, I'll be a little disappointed if it is kind of like leaning away from the strategy RPG kind of thing. Because this is, I mean, this is pretty much one of only two that I enjoy playing. Strategy RPG series. This one of Fire Emblem. This guy, like, I mean, I like the system, but just the game itself in general, just way, way too much grinding. I can't do that. I, yeah. So... I mean, like, it'll be pretty disappointing if it's kind of changed away from that. I don't understand the entire thing. I'll just have to play it to find out. But and I did, but I did see the grid. I mean, you know, there's still some kind of grid, so we'll see how it all works out. Um, but as I mean, it's this, when I was flipping through the manual to, you know, look through that shit, get some details and whatnot. I came across the information on the massage mini game, which I heard about that a long time back because somebody was like, "Hey, have you seen this? It'll be hilarious!" And I look, I was just like, "Oh, oh god, no, oh god, oh god! You make you really you're gonna use a PlayStation Move controller to massage characters? Apparently, it's not all, number one. It's not only PlayStation Move. It seems like it's actually a part of the game that you gotta do." And number two, it's not just massaging. You got to oil them the fuck up before you do the massaging. How did this game get rated team? Really, legitimately, <laughs> how did this game get rated team? I just, I actually haven't seen this yet. Alright, so, you know, generic male character looks exactly the same as everybody else. It's cool. Let's get some uniqueness in there. I think that's the one thing I generally kind of dislike about, um... Art styles like this, is that once you've seen them the first time, you've seen them all you know you're not surprised by any kind you know it's just that it all looks the same kind of just blends together like there's no real there's no real difference like yeah there might be a slight difference in a hairstyle but it's like it's basically like all the characters are just you know that new hero for the next generation you have like 
a few possibilities, but really, what's different about them? But so far, it doesn't seem like there's any kind of Borg 9 style character, at least not from that, because he didn't see anything. And usually, since he's a main character, you'd see something. You can actually, you see my reflection. I just noticed, you can actually see my damn reflection, like when the TV screen goes black. I was seeing myself in that shit. Alright, so, obviously we can't continue. Oh, I don't have that on here. I have that on Xbox. Thanks for allowing the continuation, douchebags. So anyway, what is it? Receive special bonus. So it's probably just points and shit. Oh! For those of you that have got the game, have not checked uh, PSN. Go check PSN right now. I don't know if it's going... If I don't know any details about it. If it's going to remain free. But they have some uh, free stuff right now. I think it was like... It was like a small little item. It mean like, you know... The DLC they had in previous Record of Ogress Wars were like, you know, you can download items, you can download points, you can download, uh, um, stuff. They have three packs for free right now. One is a free downloadable dungeon. Uh, one is a free, like, kind of mini points pack. Very, very few points. Not a lot. But they're free, so, you know, who gives a shit? And then a small little item pack, which again seems like it's just, you know, very basic items and whatnot. Let's learn, we'll, we'll use hard when we go through the, tr oh, that's another thing I need to mention. This whole true path, what's it actually called? Like, perfect, yeah, perfect path. Uh, I'm not going to be doing it, I'm not going to be using any kind of shit, any kind of guide, uh, rolling through this game right now, and then afterwards, hopefully, I will do a perfect path playthrough. Uh, right now, I actually looked, tried to look up online to see if there was a perfect path, path walkthrough ready, kind of like, you know, similar to how they were, how they existed for the other games, and right now, the only thing I can find is, um, a video walkthrough, which actually should, because it's using the Japanese version, so it just, like, shows you which choice you want to make where, but, I mean, I don't really want to follow that, because that would be annoying and frustrating, you know, I'd rather just have a list, so hopefully by the time I finish here, that will exist. Crossing the fingers. Oh, yeah, here we go. See, this is the thing that I got. This is all the stuff that I got. Yeah, those are the three DLC things. I'm sure there's more planned. There generally is. Those who dare go against the will of the gods, atone now for your grievous sin, where everlasting life and ephemeral existence come together as one. I have no idea if I pronounced that word right. Oh, somebody just got stabbed. Sucks to be you, broski. Dude, you got stabbed up. You got pinned against the wall while being stabbed. That is, that sucks. Oh, also, if you can see it in the reflection, I don't even know if you can. I might actually be pointing the wrong way. Anyway, uh, actually, is that even me on the, whatever. I was supposed to be getting a phone call, uh, from my boss for work-related stuffs. So we may have to end abruptly. Okay, anyway. Ooh, scary thunder. Wasn't, 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 wasn't that the name? I swear to God that's the name of, her, of a previous character, whatever. Let's turn this off a bit. Let's turn it off a bit. We want to be scared more by the thunder. God, the worst thing about this new TV, those of you who are not subscribed to my main channel, number one, fuck you. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mentioned it, it, I recently got this new television, and the remote for it is very symmetrical. It's very, I mean, like, there's really no good way to tell if it's upside down or not until you actually, like, try to press something, and you're like, oh, that's, that's the wrong fucking button. It's actually pretty annoying. Is that a bird or somebody screaming? I really don't know! Oh man, these sound effects are just godlike. The thunder's back! 
剣のことについて話してしまったことが原因なんだからね Oh, the sword, the sword Very emphasized Very emphasized, the sword 運命だったんだよ僕と君が出会うことはね What do you say, four eyes? Make some damn sense Oh, you mean you're not gay? Is it possible to be gay? Of course not, you can't get another dude pregnant Man, wouldn't that be a fucking twist? Do that in Record of Auger S War 3, you can get dudes pregnant. You take that idea for free. Just out of the goodness of my heart, I gave you all that. <laughs> the abrupt ending to the thunder right there stops. Alright, anyway, whatever. We can't understand Japanese anyway. I was always curious, though. Like... Watching this, if if they actually fit together, or if like they're just fucking with you, like they're they're just sitting there saying "fuck you, you American little bitch," we don't even like you. We're gonna make our games for us, not for you. Even though you know they're trying to make games for us, that is terrible. It no, it never sounds like that when it rains. Because, you know, something I always wonder about, like, when they do, when, you know, when they speak different languages in, um, in, like, movies and stuff like that, whether or not they're actually saying what's in the subtitles or whether or not they're just like, hey, fuck all y'all, you can't understand us. Sorry to the people who can. <laughs> like, something like that. Because that sounds like something I would do. Oh my god, are we, are we getting an honest to god cutscene? Are we are we getting an honest to god cutscene? What's those? What are those crystals? Seems a little slow right now. Don't you think? Kind of like jittery. And it really does seem like it's skipping some frames here, there, which I hope is not, you know, constant. Oh, okay, I guess that's not really... I mean, it's kind of closer to a cutscene than previously, but... Not... It's still, you know, sprite stuff. Oh my god, it's Excalibur! It's Excalibur. That's what that is. It's Excalibur. We're gonna go kill King Arthur now. That's the point of the game. Kill the cursed undead remains of King Arthur. He comes back from the dead to retrieve his haunted sword and claim rulership over the land. Ah, yep. It came out. Yeah, that's what she said. That's Arthur right there. Why for did if you breaketh my seal? Lancelot, kill everybody! That's exactly what's gonna go down. Come, come. Nice, again, again. Are you a god? You gotta get that emphasis in there. Are you a god? Yes, no. So, okay. You look like a girl, dude. Because you look like a girl. Are you a girl? Maybe you have a very deep voice for a girl. I, I don't know. You know, I, I don't judge people. Who asked, like, hey, what's up, random dude? Are you a god? That's what I do. When I'm walking down the street, I see some random person. What's up, bro? You a god? No? Bummer. What about your friend there? Is he a god? No? Bummer. I kill you. Because you look like a woman. What is up with your shirt? Like, it, it's, it looks a little tight there, broski. He didn't even say he was a god. Man, you are just... This guy is so judgmental. I need some backstory here. Who the hell is Lena? Or Leanna? Or whatever. Oh man, he called you out, son. He's pointing a sword at a maybe possibly god right now. Like, what the fuck do you call that? 
Saying that what they most that makes that's a terrible that, I don't think that works a sentence structure. I'm <laughs> certain that's not an actual sentence. Ooh, interesting twist! He might not be somebody that's just for justice and everything! Oh, apparently not. I was thinking he was being like, who do I have to kill to make this shit happen? But apparently not. I don't think that one little word was that entire- if that means that entire sentence, then they have used that a lot in Japanese. Like a samurai-specific word or something. Be gone from this existence! Means KURE! Like, what? Ooh, it's chaos. Or apparently it's KOS. Wouldn't that kind of hurt to sit on, like, th those little, like, you know, upward scales kind of jabbing into your junk? That doesn't, that does not seem comfortable. He's got a scythe, I like- Oh, it's Subaru. Is this- hmm, Is this later than Augurus World 1? Or is it before? Well, obviously, it must be before or after, because Subaru- Well, shit. Maybe it's between? Like, 0 and 1? Because Subaru did not exist when 0 started. He came about through, you know, the events of 0. But didn't you, like, either seal this dude away or kill him outright? In the original one? It's been way too long since I played the original one, so I honestly can't remember specifics. But... Oh, okay, you can't skip the tutorial anyway. See, if I had not known... Well, actually, I probably would have seen that little grid on the left there. See, that's brand new. Like, that, that looks very... First, I mean, not first person. Very turn-based combat to me. Yes, sir. Cool. Yes, I, I, I see that. I'm not stupid. Uh, I guess I just... Am I already, okay, I'm already there. Fine. I don't want to move around and see stuff. Uh, Really, you're gonna the first thing you're gonna teach me is to button mash like a bitch. Do I really have to, like? Oh, hey, I can do whatever the fuck I want. All right, so fuck your button mashing, bro. Oh, apparently I have to button. Like what? I I, I don't know. What just I honestly don't know what's happening. <laughs> I have no goddamn idea. like balls sure your up will increase my up will increase that that's good that, that sounds great a two up a one up and a two up <laughs> really guys <laughs> I'm gonna use the one up everybody it's gonna take us to a Mario minigame. I use a two up. Real men use two ups, fuck one ups. Okay, so apparently these are the EX skills.
How's that penetration feel, Summer? I think I, I think I actually did that. I tried to like move it to see if maybe like moving it would take away the button prompt and let me do something else. I was gonna say that didn't sound like what the fuck is it's showing on the screen. What the hell was that? Like was that supposed to be like a death rattle or some shit? I didn't get any points for that free battle. That's sickening. Utterly sickening. So that said this dude's already level 99? Hey, there it is again. Shit. That was so weird I dropped my controller. Chaos? Chaos? Chaos, bitch. I wish somebody would actually do that. <laughs> it's chaos, bitch! Pronounce it right! Goddamn Japanese and their foreign language! Ah, oh, so chaos is the one that got stabbed up against the wall. That sucks for you, bro. You just stood there and took it. He does not care about getting penetrated by long, sharp objects. I don't know why I added sharp in there. That's... They're voicing the... That they're taking away my enjoyment of the game. That was like my thing. To voice this shit. And now I can't do it? Anymore? Man. I ain't even mad. You know what? Fuck you, bitch! You're talking hella quiet, and in turn, those gods gave birth to the world and to the twelve races. That's right! Can't hear you now, bitch! Big Nate's voice is louder than yours! The world was intended to be perfect, the embodiments of all of their ideals! Bitch! However, bitch! In a single burst of violence, bitch, the world was divided into light and darkness, bitch! Shattering its intended perfection! In a single instance of conflict, costs and strife were brought to the world. In a single instance of conflict, why are you repeating that? All the gods and rot was destroyed. Entire races were slaughtered as the war between the two sides waxed and waned. Wax on, wax off is what they're saying. And in the end, the world was annihilated by the gods who created it. Isn't that how it starts like every single time? The six gods who survived the conflict mourned for seven days, and that's a little biblical. Kind of unnecessarily biblical. Not only for what they had destroyed, but for the lives they had taken. And when their tears began to flood their creation, the remaining gods sacrificed their physical forms. Which sucks, because then you can't really have sex anymore without a physical form. And who, let's be honest, the only reason to live is for sex. To renew the races they had slaughtered. Wow, that was really fucking fast. The existence of that, I don't know what that word is. World was all but forgotten. And untold eons have passed since its replacement was born. Even the memory of the gods has faded into oblivion. Oblivion, probably how they pronounce it. Because they're weird. Those now alive have no idea of the truth. And it all began with a story of a love that could never be. Very original. Very, very. That it was this love that brought death and destruction to the world. Very, very original. And then, the world was once again threatened with Armageddon. Shit, well, that, that, why are we getting so damn biblical right now? This, this is seven days and nights Armageddon? This is weird. Is this a new dude? That dude looks new. It doesn't look the same. So do we not get to actually play Vice? Or Weiss? It's supposed to be Vice. I know that's, you know that's a German name. Germans pronounce the W's as V's. But most people actually say Weiss now because, you know, most people around here aren't German. Rocks and stuff. Are those boobs? Those look like boobs. We actually haven't seen boobs yet. So now it's probably a good, I mean, we're 25 minutes in already to this to this playthrough and there have been no boobs so that's that needs to happen we need to see boobs 
barely concealed boobs. That, that those are boobs. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty certain. Those are okay. So we got this shit again. Please select your character's base type. He excels in physical combat. Okay. Where's the Where's the scythe? I want scythe. That does not help me. So basically, you can be a magic dude, a sword dude, or a sword magic dude. That, that, that's my choice. We're going with sword dude. Even though I don't want to, I want to actually use a scythe. This song... Fuck you. No. Hey, hey, hey. How do I do it? There we go. Gun. No, we don't care about guns. Spear. Difficult to have... Oh, all of its stats increase. So that's like... That seems like, you know, you just want to do like a regular old dude. There's not... Oh, there's a scythe right there. Don't care. Definitely don't care. See, the thing, that, the thing that I am curious about, in the previous games, let's be perfectly honest, scythes have been an extremely underwhelming weapon type. There have been very few, like, non-downloadable Sights that were like worthwhile. I love sights. Like that's that's just that's just my thing. I I really I don't know why exactly. I couldn't like point to a specific event and be like that's why I, I like sights so much. But in any game, if there's a character that utilizes a sight, I generally like them. Like you have in Guilty Gear. I didn't play Guilty Gear for long, but when I did, my character was Testament. Who would do that a sight? Uh, you know, in the previous record of Augurus Wars, the first thing I tried to do was, you know, make main characters that could utilize sights. Didn't succeed very often, but whatever. But I mean, like, it really, it just seems like sword, spear, and staff. Like, or stave, I don't know if I think it's actually called, that's this uh, staff. But it seems like those three are, like, the main types. And then guns have pretty much always blown, just been terrible. Scythes in general have been pretty terrible, except, again, the aforementioned DLC, like, made characters that had to use scythes, like, worthwhile because those DLC weapons were so damn good. Daggers in general have been pretty shit. So it's just like, I mean, I don't want to pick this and have a useless character because of a useless weapon type, but I really fucking like scythes. I mean, even the... Even the bonus in comparison to other shit is like, I mean, all that it has is you'll have faster strength, but your dexterity will like die. Everything else, like, you go back to the great sword. Oh, okay, so I guess I just kind of balanced. Fuck it. Why are we making this so damn hard? Oh, what? Can I do it again? Oh, you can. Huh. Oh, you can select it twice. Well, that's not really, I mean, that's not like a great benefit, so let's go with... See, I don't really know, like, what's a specialized ability. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I, I just don't know what that is. So let's just go with a good old sword, then. At the expense of growth of intelligence, and I don't even know, like, what's MND. I don't even know what MND is. I guess we'll find out later. So I guess I'll just go with two sides and see. No, I don't want to go two sides because I don't want like decreased dexterity. I don't want. I guess we're going with the wow. How fucking many can we choose? All right. So wh where's one that increases dexterity? Okay, I don't want to do that. Yeah, see, I don't want to do all these at the expense. I just want something. The fuck is the difference between dexterity and agility? It'll sound like the exact same thing. Alright, fuck it. How many can I choose? What the shit? This is ridiculous. See, if I choose this, I'm basically just like downplaying what I just chose. Well, I guess that kind of like counteracts one of the sides. 